person, Mr. Mano is the first person who have uh, actually initiated the uh, CSR for this program. And uh, it's not you. <laughs> I thought you are the one who initiated the program. <laughs> Introduce the program. program to us. initiation. I think uh, I have to give you the hats off. Uh, the first person who have helped me to uh, fund the entire project. So uh, as, as for the project, I'm doing this farming for 15 years and everyone know that uh, I waited for this time. Ms. Suguna has been trained uh, under the agriculture farming for the last three years with me. Uh, so this is a very good uh, confirmation where these projects like this will kick off with the right people with us. Uh, Dr. Sophia uh, will say that she is a person who is endorsing my work in many areas. And uh, that's why I have invited her to, uh, to be part of the starting journey. And uh, Prof Money uh, has been always been my uh, big ardent supporter in terms of the one who started me in this journey in, uh, since 1982. It's like now 35 years I'm with him. If I'm not doing this project for any other reason, this is uh, to understand why we are born in this world to serve back. And, and I took this this year as to serve back to Mother Nature. So I want to make this call uh, slightly different from now or this year and embarking on two major things. One is environment, sustainable and governance. So on this line, I'm more keen to help people who are in the ground who put food on the table and to the family. So people like Sugana are the right people for a single mother who needs deserving support, not the other way around. I think the bottom of the pyramid is Sugana is people like who needs the help 100%. And I'm here with uh, Mr. Mano to support her. So uh, why uh, Mr. Ms., uh, Dr. Sophia is here is that I, I want her to also help me to pass this message to people around us. I got an estate of about 200 hectare in Slango and 25 hectare in Tanka. And Prof is helping me with the other group of journey in terms of Indonesians. So in Indonesia, I am working with another 200 hectare of land. With Prof help, I want to also migrate the, uh, the refugees who are stuck in Medan to either in Palembang or to Johor. Or those who are stuck in refugees in Malaysia also can get help. But without this kind of synergy, I can't go anywhere. So I am very pleased uh, that Mr. Manu came forward and Suguna uh, is here to uh, also you know, to showcase the entire pilot program. Okay, Ms. Suguna, this is Mr. Manu. I am the first person who is going to be working together with us. And Suguna has already been trained. If the name man, uh, I'm talking about single mother. She have a daughter and she knows how to use a grass cutting machine. She's been trained 10 hours on a grass cutting machine. She's an expert now how to, she's teaching another man how to use a machine. And she harvesting more than 20 different crops. So this will come in our blog on a regular basis. Every week, I'm going to put up a blog information and this will tell the whole world what we are doing today. Okay, Manu. Um, I uh, I think it's a really good afternoon, everyone. <laughs> um, glad that uh, it could be a part of this uh, good journey. Um, I think um, I think it's not many people uh, go out to do something different, and I think Bala has initiated this good things and, and we just wanted to be uh, to enjoy with Bala to see how we can also contribute to the uh, CSR program. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So now you can speak in Tamil, don't worry. I will translate to Miss Sophia later. Okay. First, thank you, sir. You have support me. No, not a problem. So long. Where is it, Okay, what uh, Suguna is getting today is the support of one plot of land. 
uh, is about one hectare, as two point two point five acre land. Uh, is uh, also a part of the uh, work program with EcoBuild. EcoBuild, I'm working for EcoBuild, but then EcoBuild has uh, sanctioned me to work as a CSR coordinator. And uh, with that land, she is getting a house, so she will be now staying in a house uh, which will be supported by EcoBuild and because of Mano. Mr. Mano, and this is all together. It's a synergy work. Huh? And then the two hectare land, we will parcel it for cash crop. So all the cash crop will be two ways. She will sell in Tanka, the cash crop, make money for herself. She will make about $100 per day. That means about $3,000. And she will put in money back to the funding so that by two years, she will return a micro loan. For EcoBill and for me to give to Sugunas a training is called a micro loan. But between EcoBill, Bala, and Mr. Mano is an investment. So Mr. Mano is getting an investment plan secured and I will give him a returns. And who's endorsing the returns is Mr. Bala who is endorsing with EcoBill. So it is now a crop. So when the crops are growing more than 30 kilos, 40 kilos, 90 kilos a day, EcoBill guarantees to buy back all the crop and pay with Suguna to, so that she can sustainably grow herself and her business. So this way, every farmer, Suguna is one example, every farmer will live a sustainable life for the next 20 years. I don't want to talk about 30 years, 40 years. Okay, let's be just 20 years. Suguna will, will make her daughter get married and she'll be free 20 years time. Her daughter is now uh, 12 years old and she is growing a 10 years old, right? 10 years old. 10 years old. 20 years old, she'll be 30 years old. The daughter will look after the mother. So I have no issues about that. Yes, Sophia, can I have some words from you? What do you think about this project? Yeah, I think it's very good that, you know, people like Suguna are getting the, the support and that she's very, you know, she's been very active in it. I had the opportunity to go to Tanka to, to see her and conduct a few interviews. So I think in terms of getting the word out, um, you know, having the blog is good, but I think really having a more systematic campaign to do it is vital. Um, and I don't know whether Mr. Manu, um, you, whether you've told Mr. Manu and the rest my, about my background. My background is in political science, but I've left the academic space. I've stepped out to do more business. I run a PR and research consultancy with uh, my partner. Um, I, I mean, I can share more information on that in another time. I mean, in the interest of time now. So, so we have done PR campaigns and social media campaigns for various organizations and intergovernmental organizations as well. So this is very, um, it's very up my alley in a sense. And my background in politics has always been on environmental sustainability and environmental governance. So I'm quite familiar with all this. I think in the, I mean, obviously there's a lot of details that need to be fine tuned. What is, what is the scope? What is the budget? What is the timeline? How long is the campaign supposed to be? Because that's essential in how you want to strategize your communications. But I think at the very first thing that could be done to get the word out, to support more, um, you know, the content. So for now is, you know, I also have that Breaking Silos YouTube channel that I started. Uh, maybe I can, you know, edit the videos that I did with Suguna, edit a bit and, you know, upload that. Um, you know, so that's the perspective from Suguna, maybe a perspective from from you, Mr. Bala, maybe a perspective from Mr. Mano, why you decided to support this thing. So, so that gives people a broad understanding who's behind it, why they're supporting it, and what's the you know, outcome. Uh, so that's just some thoughts. Very nice, very nice. I will definitely uh, will engage in an interview with Mr. Mano, Suguna, with Ms. Sophia, Dr. Sophia, so that she can put a video clip we just need about one, two minutes for people to understand what is happening. And that's a word we put. Um, yeah. I would also like to hear from Professor. Uh, professor, will you have uh, some things to say about the project? Oh, I think uh, definitely uh, this project is a uh, uh, poverty alleviation and also empowers um, 
single women, women as well as four households to look forward to a very stable family life uh, that will ensure that they, they take care of their children, take care of their health, and plan for their immediate future, probably uh, 10 years and beyond. I think uh, this is a good project, and I'm quite happy to be uh, contributing intellectually to this. And from Singapore, I'll be helping Bala plan the other strategies in neighboring countries also. In Myanmar, uh, probably will take another few years before we can step into help in Myanmar. Yeah. Indonesia is now possible. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So this, I think this is a quick uh, opening. We want to make sure that we are in the right track. And uh, I would thank all of you for uh, coming into the Zoom. Mr. Mano, I have any other last words you want to add? I think you said it already, uh, Bala. I, we just um, hope that uh, I think good things like that, um, you know, create more awareness. And um, I think um, agricultural is something that the whole world is looking for forward. And if we can bring uh, the right thing across to, uh, to the benefit of the mankind and people, uh, life improves with that. I think that's the greatest blessing that we can give to each and every one in life. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, that's that's all for now, and uh, we'll catch up with you individually and we'll discuss it. Okay. okay. Goodbye. Thank Goodbye, you, everyone. Bye. Have a good Bye. day. Bye. See Bye. you. Bye. Thank you. Everyone.